Today, we're going to be making cashew balls. Welcome back guys, my name is Kevin and today we're going to be making some cashew balls. Uh, so this is usually a pre or during ride food or you can kind of eat it as a healthy snack if you, if you wanted to. Alright, so we're going to get right into it. You're going to need about a third to a quarter cup of uh, chocolate chips. Now I have a chocolate chip peanut butter here. You can use white chocolate. You can use whatever you like. Um, you're going to need about a third to a quarter cup of oatmeal. Now, I am using a third to a quarter cup, so if you want to make more, of course, you're going to use a third. If you want to make a little less, you're going to use a quarter. Uh, same thing with all-purpose all purpose flour. Uh, the main ingredient are going to be cashews. You're going to need about a quarter cup um, or a third of a cup. Same thing goes with maple syrup. Now, try to use real maple syrup. Look on the back and make sure it says pure maple syrup. Now, uh, corn syrup or high fructose corn syrup because that will uh, give you a very poor quality product in the end. You're also going to need some salt. Uh, Himalayan salt is a little bit better. You can use iodized salt if you so choose. Nevertheless, salt is going to be one of your key ingredients to help balance out the entire palate here because it is sweet. And without salt, it's going to be overly sweet. Alright, uh, so I have a processor here. First thing you do is you're going to add your cashews in. And you're going to blend them up until they are coarse. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'll be right back. So we kind of roughly chop them. You don't want to overly chop them or make them fine or cashew flour. You don't want to do that. You just want them kind of roughed up. Uh, then you're going to add the oats in. Then you're going to go ahead and kind of blitz it for another 10 seconds or less, maybe about 5 seconds. What that's going to do is it's going to chop up the oats a little bit more, make it a little more malleable, and also give more surface area for the oats to work with with the liquids. So I went ahead and blitzed it, as you can see, and it's really fine now. Um, like I said, you really don't want to get super, super fine, because then you're just gonna make your dough balls, and as opposed to cashew balls. So we're gonna start mixing everything. So uh, add your dry ingredients from here into. Oops. Like that. That's a blooper just for you guys. All right. All right, so this is how it looks like. Pretty good. Add your flour in. Add it, add it about half of it in first. All right, so that went a little overboard there. Got your salt, and you're gonna need about a tablespoon and a half of salt. I mean, a teaspoon and a half of salt, not a tablespoon. Don't do that, it'd be really salty. A teaspoon and a half of salt. So just kind of eyeball it, or you can measure it if you're not good at it. Alright, it's pink. If you can see it, great. If you can't, oh well. Alright. We're going to go ahead and give this a quick stir. Kind of get the ingredients going together. 